it's been amazing to see the incredible support of everyone. Social media is like a knife. It can be used to inflict pain or it can be used to carve a future that is more connected, more just, and more intellectually curious. But what we have to do, since the future is not already written, is we, we have to have gatherings like today, right? Which can have that impact. So that's why we're bringing together a diverse mix of mental health professionals, students, thought leaders, social media companies to actually say, okay, what are, what are the actual solutions here? So these technologies are here to stay. We are all addicted and logging off is not an option. So it's imperative to find ways to use them in healthy and uh, 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 responsible uh, uh, ways. There's no single cause. There's no single solution to teen suicide in particular. Um, there was, we would have figured it out. But there's so much opportunity now that we have based on how these algorithms are built to go ahead and then provide different levels of intervention. You see all these people looking like they're having a blast. Um, it can bring you down and I've definitely experienced that as well. is we detect people who might be um, having a mental health issue and we give them the opportunity to connect to crisis text line and um, we've referred tens of thousands of young people and uh, to professionally trained counselors and so this is kind of a real um, area of promise. Users that, are, that flag content for suicide or self-harm, we send them a message as well to thank them for flagging this difficult content to us and to also provide them with resources because, you know, I don't, Personally, in my personal use of YouTube, stumble across a lot of this content. So we figure that if you're finding it and flagging it, maybe you're looking for it and maybe you also need some support. Mm -hmm. As time progresses and things move into a more digital space, it gives us more opportunities. It's rational to think that we can't ask you and you and you all the same questions to determine if you're at a safe, you know, what safety concern you are for suicide and what safety concern you are. But it is my fundamental belief that we have now reached a time where technology's role in utilizing that approach will fast pace us to a point where we will actually be able to understand suicide better by standardizing the screening methodology. Um, for today's activity, um, we do have a pretty diverse group. There's been some amazing conversations. We have experts from all different levels. Uh, 